Good morning boys and girls. This is Sister Cheryl and we are happy to be here on next Sunday morning for your Sunday school lesson. Thank you for being here. Let's clasp your hands and close your eyes. Let's say our prayers. Dear God, we thank you for allowing us to meet in your presence today. Help us to learn more about you and to do what you want us to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. What is this you have done? The serpent deceived me, and I ate. <laughs> Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And you and the woman will be enemies and all her descendants. And one will follow who shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Your sorrow and in pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. 
Cursed is the ground for your sake. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. from over, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. And so begins my reign on Earth! Morning, boys and girls. This is Sister Cheryl. Let us begin our Sunday school lesson. The topic of the lesson is the glorified Christ. And the scriptures, Revelation 1 to 20. Boys and girls, this story is about John and the Lord Jesus Christ. John, an apostle and friend of the Lord Jesus Christ, was sent away to a place called Patmos to spend the rest of his life. And being there, John had a vision from the Lord Jesus Christ, boys and girls. The Lord came to John and tell him, John, I want you to write some things down. I want you to write it so that boys and girls, you and I can have those information today of the things that are going to happen. Now, boys and girls, this is what the book of Revelation is about. It is about the glorified Christ and God preparing us, you and I, boys and girls, to be ready for the things to come. And so Jesus told John, write, write these down, John. And so John wrote it down and it is called the book of Revelation. And so Revelation 1 to 20 tells us that Jesus is the son of man. Meaning boys and girls, Jesus came and he died boys and girls and when he died he was obedient to God and to what God told him he was obedient and even though he died boys and girls God gave him a place right next to him and as the topic of the lesson said, the glorified Christ. When Christ died, he was taken up to heaven and he is now the glorified Christ. And John saw him in that vision as the glorified Christ. Remember, boys and girls, that John knew Jesus. John was one of Jesus' disciples. Yes, boys and girls. And when he died, John knew that. And in that vision, John saw him again. 
And Jesus told John, I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. I am the beginning and I am the end. Jesus also told John that. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And he said, boys and girls, the Lord which was and the Lord which is and the Lord which is to come, boys and girls. So Jesus wanted John to tell us that he is the same Jesus, born as a little baby, grown and uh, obedient to God's work, accomplished what the, his father sent him to accomplish, and now he is in heaven with his father, glorified, a glorified Christ, boys and girls. He is at the right hand as his father, boys and girls, with all power and dominion. Yes, boys and girls. And being the Alpha and being the Omega, meaning he's from the beginning and he will also be the glorified Christ in the end. And... Boys and girls, Jesus wanted John to tell us that we don't have to be afraid. No matter what is happening to us, around us, boys and girls. Yes, Jesus wanted John to tell us that a lot of things are going to happen around us and to us, boys and girls. But the main thing, Jesus wanted John to tell us we must not be afraid because he is with us. He is, he is, he has, he, not only that he is with us, but boys and girls, he is going to protect Take us. He's going to look out for us and he's going to look after us. And so he wanted John to let us know that. So boys and girls, as we go further in the lesson and as we see around us now, a lot of things are changing. A lot of things are happening. Jesus wants us to know that he is the glorified Christ who has the power to continue to be good to us. And so we, you and I, boys and girls, we now have to trust him. Can you trust Jesus right now, boys and girls? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you must. And so... We are going to end our lesson and we are going to pray. Dear God, thank you for our lesson today. Thank you for bringing us together and helping us to learn more about you. Help us to follow you and to do what you want us to do. Help us to remember to trust you even when we are afraid. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.